Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. Not exactly. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the More Swords add on. Now, this tutorial is going to be a little bit different than the other tutorials because I am not going to include the timestamp in the beginning to the beginning of the tutorial right now because you need to enable experimental gameplay on a world in order to use this add on. So, in order to do this, you go to the world uh, that you want to enable experimental gameplay, and as you can see, I already did it. So, uh, um, you go to the right of it, you click the pencil on the world that you want to uh, use the mod on and then you go down to the right and then you move down until you see enable experimental gameplay. It should be not too far down right there. Boom. What you do is you go ahead and press A on that and then click yes to create a copy. After you create a copy of the world, uh, the one that has experimental gameplay enabled in it will be uh, the one that has the EX with the brackets so that will be the world where you can equip the mod on it as you can see right now on the screen I have it equipped it right here more swords add-on okay guys so if you guys want to go ahead and skip to the tutorial go ahead and um, you know go to the timestamp that I included on the screen right now but if you guys um, want to watch me showcase the mod and show you how to craft all the crafting recipes stay here to figure out all of that so let's get straight into it so uh, right here we have the obsidian sword it has 10 attack damage and then you craft it just like this one stick and two obsidian and right here we have the emerald sword it has eight wait is it eight yeah yeah eight attack damage and then right here boom uh, you craft it just like this and then right here we have the lapis lazuli sword uh, it has five attack damage and you craft it just like this and right here is the coal sword <laughs> that's right you can make a coal sword if you really wanted to it looks cool but it's it's not the best sword to be honest it, it does three attack damage and the crafting recipe is just like this uh, the next one is the slime sword it only has two attack damage but you know what it's still awesome so the crafting recipe is just like this and then right here is the quartz sword this one is actually pretty cool because it does just as much damage as diamond sword if i'm correct let's see no it does more damage than a diamond sword it does nine damage and a diamond sword does seven so right here that is how you craft the nether quartz sword Right here, we have the redstone sword. It does six attack damage. It's almost as good as a diamond sword, but as you can see, the diamond sword has seven and the redstone has six. And this is the crafting recipe right here. And then the next one is the end stone sword. This one is freaking awesome because it has 10 attack damage and you make it out of end stone. Uh, and yeah, you make it just like this. And then the next one is going to be the... Uh, netherrack sword it has nine attack damage you make it out of netherrack pretty cheap so you could get these really easily uh you know so you don't even need diamond swords anymore uh right here we have the what is it called the phantom membrane sword and so far this is the strongest sword in here i don't know why because phantom membrane isn't even that hard to come across but you will be able to make a phantom membrane sword with this recipe over here on the left side and it has 12 attack damage so let's go ahead and test out how fast a zombie dies all right so right here boom one two three uh so good we got one that spawned in with armor so right here one two okay two hits one two three okay see so if they have leather armor on it takes three hits and it's two hits no matter what to the, uh, you know, normal zombies without armor. Let's go ahead and test out the critical hits with... Oh, that's a baby zombie. Alright, so let's go ahead and test out the critical hits. Oh, wait. I'm flying. Alright, let's let's let's, uh, let's do that. Get away from me. I don't need you. Alright, let's go ahead and test this. Okay, I don't know if that was even a critical hit. I'm going to test it by sprint jumping. Okay, I don't know if there even is crits because for some reason they are not dying by one shot. Okay, I'm assuming that it does not 
one shot them with critical hits but yeah if you guys want to go ahead and hit the like button uh for this you know awesome mod showcase uh, and tutorial included in the video go ahead and slap that like button subscribe if new share the video with all of your friends because a lot of people do not know that you can mod xbox one minecraft and you know spread the word everyone deserves to have fun and uh i have a bunch of mods linked in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check those out and um yeah shout out to my friend obviously ducks link to his channel will be in the description he's a really funny guy he uploads minecraft and call of duty uh link to the guy who made the intro song will be in the description and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install this mod okay so really quickly before i tell you the first step uh go ahead and join my discord if you guys are having any problems installing this or just want to join a really cool discord they're all awesome they'll help you out everyone's nice and chill uh so yeah go ahead and check out that discord so the first step oh yeah link in the description is for the discord all right so the first step is to push the middle button go all the way over to the right side click on settings once you are in settings and it finishes loading on the left side go to display and sound and then click on video output once you are in here in the center you will find advanced and then click on video fidelity and overscan once you are in here once again over to the right you will see overscan border and then this side that says apps can add border make sure that there is no check mark inside of here uh, because you will not be able to install any of the mods if there is a check mark that's what it looks like with the check mark that's what it looks like without it like i said i'm going to say it one more time Make sure that there is no check mark here or else you will not be able to install any of these mods. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is make sure you have all four of these apps downloaded that I'm about to show you. File Downloader, File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and last but not least, UFO.Transfer. This one is probably the most important one, UFO.Transfer. But if you guys do not have uh, File Explorer on your Xbox, uh, just Google how to get it or ask someone in the Discord link in the description. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to get it because it was on here for me by default. But once you have all four of these apps, go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge and navigate yourself onto this website. I will include the URL on the screen. Uh, so go ahead and type it in one by one. But if you guys want to, you can just open up the... Uh, you can open up the YouTube video on Microsoft Edge on your Xbox and go to the description. I will include the media f media fire link in the description of this video. So you could just open up my YouTube channel, open up this video, and then go to the description of the video on Microsoft Edge and then click on the media fire link. Uh, so after you guys are on here, go ahead and hover over download and then press the pause button and then copy link after you do that we are going to open up the other app that i told you guys to download called file downloader once file downloader is downloading you go to the top left click on the three lines and then from url once this is downloading you go down you go down <laughs> lol you go down to local storage click a on it once you are in here you are going to hover over the enter or paste it here and press the pause button and if the keyboard comes up don't worry just push B and then the paste button should come up just like this and then click A to paste the link that we copied uh, once we are once we once you have that there all of this uh, you click the arrow to the right that is pointing down inside the circle and then at the bottom of the screen you will see the word start inside of a huge rectangle go ahead and press a and it will begin your download once your download is done you go to the top left and click on the three lines and then go to storage this is where you're going to want to click on local storage and then right here more swords add on zip so go ahead and press a to open that up and then go to the bottom right and click the three lines with the two check marks in the square and then to the left of it you will see a paper pointing to a paper press a on that now boom after you press a you push b to go back and once you are in here you will see a clipboard at the bottom right of your screen and go ahead and press a on that to paste everything that we copied earlier uh, once it's done pasting, it might take a while, just have some patience, maybe get a drink of water. But once it's done, download, you know, not downloading, but pasting uh, right here, boom. That's all we need to do on this app. So next, you just open up the app called UFO.Transfer. Once UFO.Transfer is downloading, you go to the top right. And if you do not have this gear icon at the top right that means that you skipped step one go to the beginning of the tutorial one more time and find out what step one it 
is in order to get this to appear so after you guys get it working or if you already had it working go ahead and click a on the gear icon and then on the left side you will see a big rectangle that says open in file explorer you're going to run a press a on that and what it does is it gives you access to a certain location inside of file explorer that you normally cannot access so once it loads you go to the top and click on packages and then go and find the megascopes.universal file for me it's on the right side yours might be on the left yours might be lower but mine's is over here on the right side so once you find it go ahead and open it up and then go into local states and then right here uh, as you can see more swords add on resource and more swords add on behavior first we will move the behavior so go ahead and hover over the behavior pack press the pause button on it and then cut after you cut it you go up to the packages and click on packages again and then go down until you find Microsoft UWP console folder right here yours might be on the right side mine is on the left side yours might be lower yours might be higher but mine's is right here after you find your folder go ahead and open it up and then go into local states games mojang once you are in here if you do not have behavior underscore packs or resource underscore packs you're gonna have to create it by clicking this paper with the plus sign and then type it typing in uh behavior score underscore behavior underscore packs sorry for the stutter and it has to be spelled exactly like this with the s at the end of it too and then go ahead and create a resource underscore packs folder too click the plus paper uh, at the bottom right and then rename it resource underscore packs with the s and the underscore uh, after you have both of these folders created or if you already had it created just click on behavior packs and then go to the bottom right and click on the clipboard to paste uh, the more swords behavior into the correct location after you have it in the right location press B to go back press B one more time and then over at the top click on packages again and then go to the megascopes universal file folder once again uh, and once this is done loading once again local states and then right here you will see more swords add-on resource go ahead and press a on it not a I'm sorry for saying a do not press a uh, hover over it and press the pause button and then go ahead and click cut after you click cut you go up to the packages again and like we did before find the Microsoft UWP console folder right here boom once you find it go ahead and open it up again and then go into local states games mojang and then right here resource underscore packs like like i said before if you don't have this folder create it but once you have it open it up and then go to the bottom right and click the clipboard to paste it in and after it's pasted it in boom i will show you how to equip it onto your world right now after your game is done loading you're going to want to click play and then like i said in the beginning of the video you're gonna have to create a uh, you're gonna have to enable experimental gameplay on your world if you guys do not know what I'm talking about rewind the video to the beginning uh, and find out how to enable experimental gameplay on your world so after you have the world created with experimental gameplay enabled you go ahead and press the you know the uh, paper to the right of the world and then once uh, it's done loading you will go down to, so you just go down uh, to behavior pack available behavior packs you go ahead and press a and then plus and then it does turn off achievements. I should have said that in the beginning of the video. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry, guys. There's going to be a lot of people in the comments asking if this disables achievements. Can you guys go ahead and help me out and respond to them by saying yes? So I'll go ahead and click continue. Boom. There you go. You have it on now. And then right here, you go to resource packs and press A on it. And then actually look. It looks like it automatically equips the, the texture pack. But if it doesn't, just go down to available packs and click the plus sign. After you have it equipped, uh, go ahead and press play and it should have the mod on the world just like that you should have all of the uh, mods downloaded uh, so if it worked for you guys don't forget to hit that like button it helps me out a lot and shout out to my boy obviously ducks linked in the description you will find his channel you guys helped them reach 140 subscribers so let's get them to 150 uh, and yeah, thank you guys for actually liking my things. And everyone, shout out to everyone that was in my happy birthday stream. That was actually the funnest birthday I had in a while. Um, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end the video here. Guys, uh, if you guys want to find any other mods, there is other mods linked in the description. And uh, you will also see my friend's channel there. And I will pin my friend's channel and the Discord invite in the comments. And you can also join my Discord with the invite 
in the description and follow me on all my social medias linked in the description but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new turn on notifications to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll see you guys next time peace